going? Um, my name is Cynthia. I just moved to New York City four months ago. I'm surviving. Um, but I am, I'm currently in a relationship. Um, I'm a spoken word poet. Uh, and the piece that I'm going to do for you guys is a piece that I wrote when I was single, when I got my heart broken. Um, it's a really, really deep and introspective piece. And I swore to myself that I would never perform this in a room full of people like yourselves. Um, and here I am doing it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's entitled My Voice. My voice, my voice is just as urgent in this world as yours, just as capable of its utterance, as worthy of fluctuations of praise of recitation, my voice, my voice is just as loud and just as necessary as, come on, Cynthia, say it, just the way you wrote it, unafraid. Voices in my head, it is with voice that you hear me, it is with voice that I am here because the truth just sounds different, my voice. It is woman and frustration and the curl of my lips. My voice is a thousand songs echoing from under my ancestors' feet, they stomp they raise, it raises. Influence the back row, the front row will love you. Think about the front row, the back row will forget you. You're just as good as everyone else. You woman of backbone made of foil hair, of rope, of body in a fragment, of the mistakenings of your fragments for being the only opening to you. You crack sometimes and spill yourself and bleed, but, but only light escapes you love the hate out of people, you, you be capable, you be qualified, you are worthy, you have power, you, you woman of many talents, you would stand, you would say over and over until you believe the things you say, like the fact that you are beautiful, you convince yourself, you be convincing, girl, there are many other openings to you, don't they see you, woman of hiding, of allowance, of the allowing of people to call themselves inside of you and leave behind all of their still energies and still you are hidden treasure the keeper of glitter you woman of second timothy you woman of hiding you remember heartbreak that winter you wore all black like you were in mourning you didn't know you had to ask for someone to rescue you you thought they could see your arms flailing but you see god is masterful at hiding things you, you thought you'd be rotten but god but he he'd be hiding all of his treasures inside of you what would you be cynthia who would you be? Pick a side. Stop rocking back and forth. Pick a side. Pick a side. Love yourself enough to fill the hole he made when he tried to break you, when he tried to make a Delilah out of you, and the emptiness of you came pouring out hollow in you. You thought you'd be dissolving, but you'd be absorbing. You expand and stretch and change, especially when everything else stays the same. Free yourself. Find yourself, Cynthia. Find your voice. Speak. Articulate like there are a thousand deaths awaiting you. And death doesn't come like a thief in the night. It comes in the things we say, in the things we write. It's in the things we hear, in the things we recite. It's a lulling whisper, can't you hear it? Just above the wailing and the gnashing of teeth, can't you hear it? It's uncanny and exposed and delightful all at the same time. It sounds like a fistful of violins giving birth to music. Can't you hear it? Search the history books and overturn the brain on the pages because nothing that was ever truly beautiful asked for attention. Yes. Woman of Second Timothy, find your voice. Find your voice. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm.